Uh, hi, my name is Jarrett. I grew up um, believing in God and aware of God. And I think it was about late teens, I uh, kind of not lost faith, but lost my awareness of God. I didn't go to church probably for close to 20 years, not uh, really kind of practicing my faith or my belief in God. So I went through uh, a lot of years of struggle with the uh, battle of alcoholism. By the time this video airs, uh, it will be exactly a day after of one year of sobriety. Um, that one year of sobriety is when I started finding my faith again, um, started feeling God in my life again. Because um, for many years, I took God for granted. Um, I only prayed to Him when it was in my convenience and very selfish moments. And when I didn't get those answers, I won't say I lost faith, but I, I, I lost trust in God. So about two weeks prior to my, my journey into recovery, God already started going to work for me. And He started doing things for me that I could not do for myself and brought somebody very dear to me and, uh, and very important to me in my life as a vessel to kind of plant that seed of sobriety and faith. You know, we have a saying of let go, let God. And once I started doing that, I started not taking him for granted. He started making his presence known to me more and more in little moments where I used to call them coincidences. And the more they happened, I realized they are not coincidences. Uh, they are God's way of staying anonymous. And it was about five months ago, I had my spiritual awakening in this church. Um, if I'm judging the screen properly, it was right about seat number three, right aisle seat. It was a morning where uh, I, was, I usually go with a friend and uh, I have an anxiety. So going to church alone was, was actually kind of scary. So I was debating on not going. And I just prayed and I said, well, God, give me the strength. You know, I showed up that morning, the place is packed. And one of the greeters sat me, and this is another one of those, I don't, uh, there are no coincidences anymore. One of the only seat pretty much left available is like third row up, right front of the stage. And my anxiety kicks in a little bit. Well, um, I sit down, I just started feeling his presence and the stained glass window right above the stage, right above the screen, there was just a beam of light right directly on me. And I, at that point, I just, I couldn't tell you what the service was, what Darren was saying. I just felt him holding me. I just felt warmth and love. And that's when I knew that I, uh, I needed to give myself to him fully and not take them for granted anymore. And since then, I, I go to church just about every, every Sunday, and I still look over to that seat to see if that beam comes through that stained glass, just to see if it was a fluke, see if it was coincidence. I haven't seen that beam since, so I know. And that was just another clarification of him being present in my life and touching me and letting me know he's here and that's when I decided I wanted to get baptized. Ever since then, my life has changed. Um, I turn it over to God. I don't pray in times of need and selfishness. I pray for other people. My name is Jarrett. I'm here to publicly profess that Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior.